There has been a recent call for Prince Harry to be removed from his role as a Councillor of State, and this request is not rooted in the ongoing feud between the Duke and the royal family. Instead, it focuses on the practicality and availability of Prince Harry if the King were to require his assistance. The role of a Councillor of State is crucial in the functioning of the monarchy, particularly in times of illness or absence abroad. By law, each monarch appoints individuals to represent him or carry out his duties under such circumstances. Currently, this includes the king's wife and the next four individuals in line to the throne who are above the age of 21. Given recent health issues within the royal family, including King Charles' cancer diagnosis and Princess Kate's hospitalization for abdominal surgery, the need for active and available councillors of state has become paramount. With fewer senior royals available to fulfil engagements, there is a demand for individuals ready to step in and carry out these responsibilities. In 2022, King Charles proposed appointing his siblings, Princess Anne and Prince Edward, as additional councillors of state. This move was made in anticipation of the King's scaled-back engagements due to his treatment. It is clear that members actively serving the monarchy are most suitable for these positions. Royal historian Marilyn Koenig argues that Prince Harry should be removed as a councillor of state due to his residency. As she rightly points out, the state councillor should be based in the UK, while Prince Harry has chosen to reside outside the country. It was clarified previously that only serving members of the royal family can act as councillors of state. This was clearly stated when Prince Charles requested special legislation to add princess and in Prince Edward as councillors of state for their lifetime. Koenig further emphasises that the removal of Prince Harry from this role would allow Princess Eugenie to become a state councillor instead. This aligns with the criteria of having active members of the company fulfil the role, ensuring the availability and practicality of the councillors of state. The proposition to remove Prince Harry as a councillor of state is not rooted in personal, or familial disputes, but rather in the need for practical and available individuals to fulfil essential responsibilities within the monarchy. Given Prince Harry's current residency outside of the UK, it is reasonable to consider appointing someone who is actively serving the royal family, such as Princess Eugenie, to this position.